How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my uh, small engine repair channel. Today's video is just a slightly uh, different video than normal. It's not a repair video as much as it's uh, a bit of a comparison video. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is take a look at the differences uh, between one of these little single stage snow blowers and one of these two stage snow blowers. Alright guys, so uh, welcome to uh, Snowmageddon 2022 here in Southern Ontario. Uh, this amount of snow we typically don't get in one sort of dumping. I just wanted to kind of get a, a quick measurement on how much snow we actually got. So there you go. We're looking at about six inches of snow overnight, which again is, is quite a bit for our part of the country. We might, uh, you know, get a couple inches at a time, but uh, to get six inches like this, this will be a good test between uh, these two uh, snow blowers. So it's still coming down. We're anticipating another inch or so. This uh, particular single stage snow blower is a Toro CCR 3650. It's got a 141 cc engine with a 20 inch cut. Uh, it is a single stage snow blower, which means there is only uh, one set of impellers, basically, uh, and those impellers turn around like so and then shoot the stuff out this particular chute. Now, this happens to be a, a, a two-stroke one, which uh, tends to run a little bit higher RPM, a little bit higher torque, so I think they're slightly better but uh, for these little guys anyways, but you got to mix the gas and oil. This one, on the other hand, we got to call it a two stage because you got a set of impellers here that kind of bring everything to the center and then shoot it through the back. And then that back impeller, all right, is a second stage and it increases the velocity and shoots it out the chute here. Um, this one happens to have a uh, uh, Tecumseh engine and it is a 10 horsepower, uh, 29 inch cut. This one just takes straight gas, okay? Um, lighter weight, almost like operating a lawnmower. Heavier weight and uh, definitely has a transmission, a self-propel system. Uh, and this one in particular has uh, six forward gears and two reverse gears. Uh, you have a, a chute control here. Both of them have the same sort of style of chute control. It just rotates the chute. All right, so what we're gonna do is just kind of do a quick test. I'm gonna do a couple passes with each of these machines. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't actually put this one through the test of uh, six inches of snow before. So uh, I'm gonna do a couple passes with each and then we'll come back and we'll talk about maybe some of the advantages and disadvantages of each. And uh, hopefully this might be informative and help you in making a decision if you're uh, on the fence as to which type of uh, snow blower to get. Now, uh, one other thing is uh, this particular snow is uh, light and fluffy. Okay, it's not wet snow, so that could also factor into our decision as to which one of these machines we're going to get. Also, the amount of driveway that you have and sidewalk uh, will also play a role in it. So let me get these things fired up and uh, we'll do a, pa a couple passes with each. So there's the little guy. He actually did uh, quite a bit better 
of a job than I expected. Now you can see uh, it left a little bit of streaks in the middle there, but uh, we'll, uh, you know, we can always clean that back up again with multiple passes, or I can take shorter, smaller cuts each each time. We're going to try and fire up this big guy now. Now, I haven't run this guy in about uh, Haven't run this guy in about two years. It's been sitting, waiting for days like this. So I'll see if we can get it fired up. Right, guys so there you have it uh, even the big guy he decided he was gonna leave a little bit behind as well so it doesn't scrape it right down to the ground I think uh, the little guy probably scrapes it down to the ground a little bit closer but it could be just the way I have my uh, scraper bar set up as well on this big guy um, the big guy obviously takes uh, less passes it's a little bit more cumbersome to use um, it is um, you know, it does have forward and reverse, but it is harder to maneuver, whereas this little guy is much easier to maneuver. And believe it or not, like, they both handled the snow pretty much just as equally. So, uh, if it's light, fluffy snow, even up to six inches, I think, you know, these little uh, single-stage uh, snow blowers actually work, work just okay. And you can see over here, my neighbor, he's using an electric one uh he's obviously done it in multiple passes but um so um anyways uh i'll uh, put up a little screen here now i'll show some uh, advantages disadvantages of each and uh from the results i mean as you can see Either one will uh, will work just fine. Uh, if it was definitely wet snow, heavy snow, snow that was dumped in the end of your driveway by the snow plow, like three feet of it, that big guy is gonna be where it's at. But if you don't have those kind of conditions very often, this little guy is probably your best bet. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. Just a small little video on uh, Snowmageddon 22 in uh, southern ontario so i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did you know smash the like button and uh, if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so it really helps me out on my channel so until our next project take care